Welcome. Welcome to changing decimals to percents. So our skill set today, or the skill we're working on today, is how do we change a decimal to a percent? Well, in the first lesson on percents, we talked about this means denominator 100. And this is 25 hundredths in decimal form. So 25 hundredths equals 25%. And the rule for changing decimals to percent is quite simple. To change a decimal to a percent, move the decimal two places to the right and add the percent sign. So, in this example, we're moving the decimal two places to the right, one, two, and we put the percent sign. We do not put the decimal point here. We do not put the decimal point there because there is no number that follows it. So we move the decimal two places to the right and put the percent sign. It's quite a simple rule, quite a simple process. So let's take a look at a couple of examples. Let's take a look at this decimal. Now this decimal <clears throat> is 43 thousands because this is tens, hundreds, and thousands. Now to change this to a percent, we move the decimal two places to the right. One, two, so it would be here. So we'd have 4.3 and we don't bring the zero over because the zero would make no difference here and we add the percent sign. We move the decimal two places to the right. Now notice we have to have the decimal point here because there's a number that comes after it. And we add the percent sign. So if we changed 43 thousandths to a percent, it would be four and three tenths percent. Let's take a look at another example. Well, here we have 16 and 2 thirds hundredths, because this is a decimal. 16 and 2 thirds hundredths. And our rule says we move the decimal two places to the right. One, two. So we would have 16 and 2 thirds. And we do not put the decimal point here, because this is a fraction that followed. Up here we had to have the decimal point because it was a number that followed. But here we do not. So. Sixteen and two-thirds hundredths is ex the same as uh, sixteen and two-thirds percent. Because this sign, we know, means denominator 100. Let's take a look at one other kind. Suppose I had three-tenths, and I wanted to change that to a percent. Well, the rule remains exactly the same. We move the decimal place two places to the right, but there's nothing here, so I have to put a zero in as a placeholder. And then I add the percent sign. Let's take a look at that again. To change three-tenths to a percent, I move the decimal place two places so that it goes like this, but I have to put a zero in here as a placeholder. So three-tenths is equal to 30%. Excellent. Okay, well, I'm going to put up some problems for you and uh, let you work them. We'll put up 45 hundredths, six-tenths, and eight-thousandths.
and we'll put the video or DVD on pause and go ahead and work these problems and then turn the video or DVD back on and we'll go over them. Well, welcome back. Okay, let's take number one, 45 hundredths. We want to change it to a percent. The rule, we move the decimal place two places to the right. That would take us from here, one, two. We don't put the decimal point and we just put the percent sign. So, 45 hundredths becomes 45 percent. Here we have 6 tenths. The rule is the same, two places to the right, but there's nothing there. So we have to put a zero in as a placeholder, and we put the percent sign. Now here we had eight thousandths, tens, hundreds, thousands. Two places to the right, one, two, so the decimal has to go here. We get eight tenths of a percent. All right, I'm going to put some more problems up. Again, this is a simple rule. You, to change decimal to a percent, you move the place value, the decimal point, two places to the right. Let's try this. Suppose we had 1, 6, 1 and 6 tenths, the fraction. 2 and 25 hundredths. And 8 hundredths. Now let's change these two percent. So put your video or DVD on pause, work these problems in your notebook or on a piece of paper, and then turn the video back on, and we'll go over those. Well, back, okay. Let's see how we did. <clears throat> One and six tenths is the decimal fraction. We have to move this two places to the right, one, two, but there's nothing here. So we have to put a zero in as a placeholder. And so we get one and six tenths is equal to 160%, 160%, more than 100%. Let's take this one, two and 25 hundredths. Well, the rule is the same, two places to the right, and we have 2, 2, 5. We do not have to put the decimal point there. And we put this percent sign. So, 2 and 25 hundredths is equal to 225%. Let's go here. Here we have 8 hundredths. Move the decimal two places to the right and add the percent sign, and no decimal point. Good. Try just a few more problems. I'm looking at my timer, and I have about two minutes left, so this would give us some time to do a couple more problems. Let's put uh, something like this. 800 and one-third is the decimal, eight. Eight and one-third hundredths, I'm sorry, is the decimal fraction. And let's put this up. 375 thousandths. And let's do this one. 66 and two-third hundredths. Okay, put your video or DVD on pause. Work these problems in your notebook and then turn it back on and we'll take a look how you did. Welcome back. Okay. Here, <clears throat> eight and one third hundredths. Decimal place, two places. So it would be here. And we do not put the decimal there because this is a fraction that follows it. So eight and one third hundredths, the decimal fraction eight and one third hundredths is eight and one third percent. Here, 375 thousandths, two places to the right. We get 37 and 5 tenths percent. 
And here, 66 and 2 third hundredths, two places to the right, 66 and 2 thirds percent. And again, we do not need the decimal point because we have the fraction 2 thirds. Well, that's it. That's the skill. To change any decimal to a percent, the skill is move the decimal point two places to the right and add a percent sign. Excellent. Thank you very much for your attention.